and welcome back to the second half of this afternoon's contest between the Sam Houston Bearcats and the Western Illinois Leathernecks. Everyone, I'm Rod Sidlick, and alongside me, Randy McElvoy. A good first half, the Bearcats leading it 21-10. Some good defense for the Bearcats, and they can come away with a designated Southland Conference victory here this afternoon. You've got some halftime stats. Just a couple to pass on to you at halftime for Sam Houston. Reggie Lewis, 13 of 20, 230 yards, uh, 305 yards of total offense for the Bearcats, and only one penalty called on them for five yards. Uh, on the other side for Western Illinois, uh, for the quarterback for Western Illinois, 10 of 16, 100 and 70 yards. Paul Singer, uh, 10 of 16 for the Leathernecks. Bearcats kick it off. Leathernecks return it, number 30. He will have good yardage once again, tackled on the play. 41 up for Sam Houston. That William Brazil on the run back for the Leathernecks. Bubba Shaw, back up tailback, gets the, gets the tackle on the special team. So Paul Singer of Western Illinois will lead the offense back out onto the field. Very important for the Bearcat defense here to stop him right away here in the second half. Pass is complete over on the far sideline. Number 10, Chris Earl, takes a shot from Meldon Mickles up from his strong side cornerback spot, but in another good gain, about eight yards for Paul Singer and Western Illinois. As you mentioned, total offense, 305 yards for Sam Houston, 212 yards for Western Illinois. We mentioned two good quarterbacks, and that's exactly what you got in the first half. 230 yards for Reggie Lewis, 171 for Zinger. Once again, looking to throw. That pass is complete. M Mike Borich, as he is out of bounds across the 40-yard line. Once again, Zinger working on Meldon Mickles, the senior cornerback. One year Litterman from Beaumont, Charlerton Pollard on the coverage for Sam Houston. And right off the bat here in the second half, Paul Singer again is on target, two of two already. 1440 left in the third period. Ball on the 41 yard line of Western Illinois, but they're driving. Hand the ball straight up to the middle to the fullback. That's Brett Grimshaw. He will have short yardage, maybe a gain of only one, maybe no gain on the play, depending on where they spot the football. Give him a gain of one yard on the play, and that will bring up a second down and nine. Bearcat defense again has to be commended. That defense has turned it around the last three to four weeks. Not only 10 points here in the first half today. Let's see what they do in the second half. Third down now, second down now for Western Illinois. As they go with three wide receivers to the left side, Zinger under pressure has a man, completes the pass over on the far sideline to number 83. That's Tom Braggs tight end. He will have the reception and gain about four yards on the play. It's still gonna be about six yards short of the first down. So third down and six and right here to start the second half, a big defensive play for Sam Houston as they need to shut this Western Illinois offense and not let them get momentum here starting the second half. Williams split wide to the left side. BB wide to the right. Now Singer looking to throw. Ball is almost intercepted. Billy Anderson had it go in and out of his hands. Ball intended for number two. Steve Williams, a sophomore from Davenport, Iowa. Incomplete in a punting situation. Nice defensive work that time by the Bearcats. Good job by the defense. That's what they had to do. Start the second half. Hold them. Make them punt the ball. Get the ball back on the offense and put it to work. See what you could do. Best thing to do to get this Western Illinois team down, score points. Get them down by a lot. Krause, Keep them down. Krause had three punts for a 48-yard average in the first half. Billy Anderson lets it go over his head. It will go out of bounds. Nice leg into that punt. The net won't be as much because they'll bring it back to the 20. But Krause has really got a strong leg. The sophomore from Kowani, Illinois, on the punt for Western Illinois. So now the Bearcats back on offense. and their chance to perhaps gain a little momentum here to start the second half. James Short's still in there for the Bearcats. He'll start it off. Maybe he'll have a better second half than he did the first half. 
Couple of balls missed. Uh, he should have caught in the first half, bounced off of him. Let's see what he can do now. Henry wide to the left side, Keith Willis wide to the right, shorts and Turner the tailbacks behind Reggie Lewis. Hand the ball straight up the middle to Turner. Turner now fighting for yardage, and he will have about two yards on that play. Tough going inside, 44 off the bottom of the pile. Marty Lamalino, the right side linebacker, senior from Gridley, Illinois, up to make the stop for Western Illinois. Gave him a gain of two, three yards on the play and bring up a second down and seven. James Lopez in for Sam Houston. Number 18, Keith Willis comes out, grabs another play. Second down and seven for Sam Houston. Lopez wide to the left side. Now Victor Henry goes wide to the right. Tight end split is tight on the right side. That's Rick Eggleston. Now back to throw. Lewis trying to avoid the rush, spins out of trouble gets the pass, but throws it away. Intended over there on the far sideline for number 30, Victor Henry. Incomplete will bring up a third down and seven. Looks like number 48. Number 48 for the Leathernecks, Western Illinois. Looks like he got a piece of that ball when Reggie threw that one to knock it out of bounds. The nickelback, Brian Cox, up from his nickelback spot. He's sort of a rover back there. A kind of a half secondary player, half linebacker as he goes with the strong side of the formation for Western Illinois. Now, now as this, he will go to the right side, now Lewis looking to throw. He's going to try to air it out for Victor Henry, and oh. Henry will not have a chance to get the football. Battle over there, over here on the near sideline with Bill Hunter, a little contact. That's what him. I was just about to say, Rod. At number four looked like he was hanging on Victor Henry on that one. And no flag call on that one, that's surprising. That's Look like a little bit of interference on that one, but no call. As the Bearcats off a punt and away now, Bart Bradley back for Sam Houston. 39, John McHugh along with the free safety, Maurice Smith back in double safety for Western Illinois. Bart Bradley, the sophomore punter from Kilgore, Texas on the punt. And he gets the line drive punt off. Maurice Smith fields it back at the 21. Now we'll cross the 25 to the 30 and will be tackled at about the 36 yard line. 43, Lice Adams on the tackle for Sam Houston. A little help from 35, Roger Johnson, the middle linebacker. And Western Illinois will scrimmage now first and 10. 11 minutes, 57 seconds to go. Third quarter of play, Bearcats leading at 21-10 over the Western Illinois Leathernecks. Paul Zinger comes out at quarterback. He will send number 10 out to the right side, that's Chris Earl. 80, Borich is wide to the right side, split backs. As Singer back to throw, has to unload it quickly, skips it in, and that time the blitz coming from weak side linebacker Tolly Royal up to put pressure on Paul Singer. And I think he did, did just that. Singer rushed his pass, bounced it in. Tolly Royal, good play on the defensive side for Sam Houston. Second down and 10 now for Western Illinois. Don Beebe, the senior from Sugar Grove, Illinois, checks into the ball game for Western Illinois. Spot the ball at the 36 yard line. As Steve Williams goes wide to the left side, Don Beebe is wide to the right. Shotgun formation, first time we've seen that. Singer back in the pocket trying to get more time to throw. Now under a heavy rush, throws the ball up and it is knocked down. Nice defensive play that time by Ricky Royal. And you know, Randy, early in the season, Ricky Royal had a, had a habit of not looking back and going for the football. He had a lot of, of pass interference penalties, but in the last few weeks, Ricky Royal has played good defensive coverage. He had a play just like that against Stephen F. Austin last week where he knocked the ball away in good shape, and he is becoming a premier secondary player for Sam Houston. He sure is. Good play by Ricky Royal. Good job of knocking that one down. Did in long yardage on that one. Big game, but no, no deal for Western Illinois. Third down and 10, ball is fumbled. Now Singer picks it up, and the ball is complete. First down, number 85. That's the tight end, Jeff Prentice, who has showed good hands here in this ball game. The senior from Montgomery, Illinois, gets the pass reception. It will be good for first down yardage, and once again, the Bearcats give up long yardage on the third and long play. Singer had problems on the snap on that one. The ball coming loose kind of had looked like it had grease on it or something finally got a hold of it though good completion first down and 10 for western illinois Chris, 
48-yard line. Chris Earl goes wide to the left side with Don Bibby wide to the right. Now play action. Zinger looking to air it out. He's going to go long. Melvin Mickles needs to turn around and look for the football. The ball is caught out of bounds at the one-yard line. And that time, Melvin Mickles didn't know where the football was, didn't look back to the last moment. And Don Bibby, the senior from Sugar Grove, Illinois, comes up with the reception at the one-yard line. Bibby very upset with himself on that one. He caught it. And right when he looked down, he was already out of bounds at the one inch line. He's about almost in there. His foot went out of bounds right before the, the marker by the goal line. First and in inches for Western Illinois. They're about to close the gap now. 21 to 10 the score right now. One yard away from Pater. The backfield is Brett Grimshaw and 24 Claude Millsap. Straight up the middle. Oh, Paul Singer sneaks it into the end zone. He has the touchdown on the one yard run. So the Leathernecks close the gap here. 11.05 to go here in the third quarter. It's now 21-16 with the extra point attempt to come. And Western Illinois jumps out and gets momentum here in the second half. That's something the Bearcats did not need to happen. Still a lot of time left here in the ball game. Melvin Mickles should have knocked that ball away when it was thrown down to Bibby on the, at the goal line there. But Now Western Illinois lining up for the two-point conversion, trying to catch the Bearcats asleep. Singer will roll it out, looking to throw, has a man. It's complete. Two-point conversion, 24, Claude Millsap. And a big play because that makes the deficit two points. And with 11.05 to go in the third quarter, your new score, Sam Houston 21, Western Illinois 18. You say you've got too much, too much to do and not enough time to do it. Are the pressures of school and your job getting too much for you to handle? And it's time for a stretch watch. Join Cassandra Baker and her assistant, Belinda Preneda, for solutions to time management and helpful tips to handle stress only on cable channel seven that's wednesday nights beginning at 9 p.m the leathernecks are back in this ball game rod three points down 1105 left we've got a new ball game here at bearcat stadium so the bearcats will now go back on offense barring any type of disaster on the kickoff need to establish a good scoring drive here in the second half as the leathernecks take the ball and run it right down the throats of the bearcats good the big play that time, the long pass down to the one-yard line from Paul Singer to Don Bibby. Seven, or check it, number 17, Lane Bennett, the sophomore from Pittsfield, Illinois, has it teed up at the 35-yard line. Back deep, number 30, Victor Henry, along with 34, Ricky Davis, to return the kickoff for Sam Houston. Ricky Davis has it, short kickoff, will come across the 25, now breaks a couple of tackles, gets out across the 45, and a nice run that time by the backup tailback, Ricky Davis. He's only a freshman, squadsman from Fort Worth Everman High School, but a flag is down. Also a leatherneck is down, number 30, I believe. Number 30 on the for the leathernecks, William Brazil, cornerback. Oof. He walked it off though, he's limping off. But we got a penalty on the Bearcats, it looks like. Let's see what the call is. Probably be a, an illegal block as it is, a clip against Sam Houston. So a return out across the 45 is spotted back at the 16. A big mistake on the Bearcats specialty teams and they will scrimmage from poor field position deep in their own territory. Keith Willis is wide to the right side. They're wide to the left side with Victor Henry over on the far side. Turner and Shorts are the setbacks. Handed off straight up the middle. James Shorts will go for short yardage, perhaps two yards on the play. Big, important series for Sam Houston on this one. If they get it, Held up by Western Illinois. That's going to fire them up even more. They're only three points down on the road, which is unusual, especially at Bearcat Stadium. So Bearcats needing some points badly. Even if it's a field goal, they need to get something on the board. 
Reggie Lewis will roll it out. Now looking to throw the football. Has a man, overthrows the intended receiver, Ricky Eggleston. Ball is almost picked off by number 23 for Western Illinois. That's Mike Himley. So the Bearcat offense now starting to look sluggish is faced with a third down and eight situation. Keith Willis comes wide to the left side with Victor Henry wide to the right. Now split backs behind Reggie Lewis, dropping straight back to throw. Looking to air it out, gets it to Shorts. He will turn it upfield and will not have enough for the first down. He is going to be about a yard short and a punting situation for the Bearcats. We need a good one out of Bart Bradley. He needs to get them back in, in their territory pretty deep if he can. Not a great day of punting so far for Bart Bradley, but he needs to break it right now. 39, John McHugh along with Maurice Smith back in double safety for Western Illinois. Bart Bradley back to punt for Sam Houston. Bradley gets the kick away. Low line drive will be taken by McHugh. He returns it and breaks a couple of tackles. Now will go across the 40 yard line. Nice tackle on the play for Sam Houston. 72, that's Chris Herman, an offensive tackle up to make the stop for the Bearcats. So Paul Singer and the Western Illinois offense back out onto the field. Bearcats leading at 21-18, but momentum shifting in the second half as Mike Borish goes wide to the left side. And number 10, that's Chris Earl, is wide to the right. Singer looking to throw the football, has a man wide open. That's the fullback, Brett Grimshaw. Grimshaw, a busy man this afternoon so far. Several receptions. I'm not sure how many he had in the first half, but it was a good handful. Grimshaw with three catches, seven, 32 yards, his long being 17 in the first half. Pick up of seven yards on that last pass play will bring up a second down and three as Steve Williams is wide to the left side and Don Bibby is wide to the right. High formation now, play action. Zinger looking to throw, avoids pressure. The ball goes in and out of the hands. 83 that time. Tom Bragg, the tight end for Western Illinois, right through his hands. Two Bearcat defenders right there to pop him, but and he catch the ball. He break for Sam Houston. Third down and three now for Western Illinois. Big play for the defense of Sam Houston. They need to hold him right here. Stop this drive right now. Get the ball back. Chris Earl wide to the left side with Mike Borich wide to the right. Split backs behind Paul Singer. Now straight back to throw. Looking to go. Hits his fullback once again. First down out across midfield. That's Brett Grimshaw, the junior from Burlington, Iowa, has the reception in the first down, and Paul Singer continues to brilliantly move this Western Illinois offense. It's a simple play. The fullback just comes around in the secondary in about 10 yard pattern, and he's wide open every time. All afternoon he's been there. Chris Earl, the junior from DeKalb, Illinois, is split wide to the left side. And the ball straight up the middle, number 24, Claude Millsap, the senior from Plymouth, Florida, on the carry. He will have about three yards on the carry, bring up a second down and seven. Checking into the ball game is Mike Cox as Millsap goes to the near side bench. Second down and seven, ball at the 43 yard line in Bearcat territory. Now double wide receiver Steve Williams and number 80 Mike Borich are both split wide to the left side. Split backs behind Paul Singer. Movement in the offensive line, pass over the middle, complete nice hit but a nice catch. Mike Borich hit on the play and brought down by number 43 Lice Adams. No flags are down, a first down for Western Illinois and they continue to move the chains and move the football here in the second half. Ball's gonna be marked at the 31 yard line. Clock running eight minutes remaining here in the third quarter. So Chris Earl goes wide to the left side with 
Don Bibby wide to the right. Flea flicker, now Singer looking to throw. Has a man trying to beat Nichols. Ball is caught, but out of the back of the end zone. Once again, Paul Singer did not look back for the football. Melvin, or Melvin Nichols didn't look back for the football, but fortunately for him, the ball was thrown out of the back of the end zone. That one was almost caught inbounds. He had one, one, or one foot in, I believe. It looked like it from here. Close play again, Melvin Nichols getting tested down there on the right side by Paul Singer. So the Leathernecks are faced with a second out at 10 ball at the 31 yard line in Sam Houston territory. Now the draw play up the middle, nice hit, nice open field tackle. 59, Andre Finley, who is having a great day from that strong side end position. The sophomore one year letterman from Houston, Forrest Brook, up to make the stop for Sam Houston. Big play by the defense, third down now for Western Illinois. Third and 11, give him a loss of a yard on that play. They hold him here, it'll be a long field goal attempt for Western Illinois. Don Bibby goes wide to the left side with Chris Earl wide to the right. Straight back to throw is Singer now looking, has a man. Ball is almost caught, nice defensive play. Leish Adams pass intended for Jeff Prentice, the tight end, had it in his hands, but a nice pot from the junior linebacker from Jasper, Leish Adams from his strong side linebacking spot on the coverage. And it looks like Coach Bruce Craddock is going to go for it on fourth and 11. So a very big defensive play now here for Sam Houston as Zinger has had success against the Bearcats secondary. Will test him on fourth and 11, straight back to throw. Looking, looking, has a man, ball is complete and it is going to be very, very close to the first down. It doesn't look like they're gonna have it from here. I don't think they're gonna mark it. He needs to be just inside the 22 yard line. It's gonna be very close, like you said. It's gonna be within inches. They are going to have to bring in the change from over on the far sideline. That time a nice pass completed by Paul Singer. It's going to be very close. Stretch the chains and not quite enough. Bearcat defense holds and that could be a big momentum switch for Sam Houston as they hold on the fourth and 10 play but Paul Singer nearly rescued the Leathernecks out of trouble as he completed the fourth and 10 pass and it just ended inches short of the first down. Bearcat very lucky on that one. They stopped him, but he was just inches short. Very important here for the offense to get something going here in the third quarter. Reggie Lewis needs to come out passing. Willis wide to the left, Henry wide to the right. Play action now, Lewis looking to go long, has Willis, ball will be overthrown. Coverage on the play by number four, that's Hunter on the coverage for Western Illinois. Bill Hunter along with Emrick Wilcox, the left side cornerback on the coverage that time the pass was just overthrown. Bill Hunter, a 5'10", 180 pound sophomore out of Macomb, Illinois, Carthage High School there. Good coverage on Keith Willis, second down and 10 for Sam Houston. Al Lopez is split wide to the left side, but Victor Henry wide to the right, split backs behind the quarterback, Reggie Lewis. Now looking to swing it out, has a man, that's Victor Henry, has it go off his hands. And that time Victor Henry could not come up with the pass reception. And the Bearcats now faced with third and 10 have found the offensive, have found the offense hard to come by here in the second half. Whatever Bruce, Coach Bruce Craddock of Western Illinois told his team at halftime, it's working. The defense of Western Illinois improved very much so far through this third period. Bearcat offense doing absolutely nothing so far. Third and 10, straight back to throw. Lewis with time. Ball is skipped into Eggleston. Bearcats will be forced to punt. And the Bearcats are going to have to make some adjustments offensively as they have not been able to move the ball here in the second half. Bart Bradley will come on to punt the ball for Sam Houston. You can't get, keep giving these teams opportunities when they're on the road. If they're close, they're gonna be fired up. They're gonna be wanting to beat the tail, the tail out of you and they're just not gonna, you can't even keep giving those opportunities to them. 
And uh, the Bearcats are doing just that. They've got lucky on a couple of times so far. Nice punt that time by Bradley. Will drive Smith back to his 25 yard line. Now has some blockers out in front. Will try to turn it up field. Will go out of bounds. Hit on the play by Leish Adams. 38 yard line where Paul Singer and the Western Illinois offense once again takes over. And you know, Randy, that Bearcat defense is going to tire out if they stay on the field this long here in the second half. Exactly right. They got to have that offense on the field moving the ball, which, did not, which is not happening so far in the third quarter. 21 to 18, the score if you're just joining us. 617 left here in the third period of play. John Bibby wide to the left side with Chris Earl wide to the right. Now pitch it back deep in the backfield. Cox has it, he will be stopped at the 40 yard line. Mike Cox, the sophomore from East St. Louis will be brought down. Give him a gain of two yards or two yards on the play to bring up a second down and eight. Number two, Steve Williams and number 80, Mike Boris checks in for Western Illinois. Number five, Tom Beebe split in, comes out. Now Boric comes wide to the right side with Steve Williams wide to the left. Now shotgun formation, second down and seven for Western Illinois. Singer looking to throw, now avoids pressure, gets it out, man is open, but the pass is going to be out of bounds. 31 on the coverage for Sam Houston, that's Livingston. Charles Livingston, who has not seen a whole lot of playing time in the Bearcats secondary in there now. I just noticed the sideline rod, number 14, Brian Osterhaus warming up over there. Now, I don't know what that means. Uh, would, we, would you think Ron Randall would want to pull him in there, third quarter? Well, if, if the, the offense isn't running well, he may decide to, to go with Brian Osterhaus. As we mentioned, Charles Livingston has checked in. Meldon Mickles has, is on the bench. Now out of the pocket, Singer looking to run the football, will go out of bounds. He will not have enough for the first down. And we mentioned Meldon Mickles not looking um, good on a couple of those passes where he got beat. And now Coach Ron Randleman has inserted Charles Livingston into the defensive secondary. So Billy Anderson drops back in single safety as Paul uh, Mike Krause will be back to punt for Western Illinois. So the Bearcat defense holding, looking for a chance to get some offensive momentum going here in the second half. They have not been able to move the ball offensively. Billy Anderson will let this one go and it will die at the five yard line. Once again, Western Illinois will put the Bearcats in very poor field position. With five minutes, seven seconds to go here in the third quarter, it's Sam Houston 21, Western Illinois 18. Community events, special services, and general information of interest to the Huntsville area are just some of the topics discussed on 15 minutes on cable channel seven, Monday through Thursdays at 10 p.m. The Bearcat offense ready to roll here at five yard line. They need some points very quickly, 5.07 remaining here in the third period. Henry wide to the left, Willis wide to the right, now play action. Reggie Lewis looking for Eggleston, once again under throws his tight end defensive coverage on the play number three for Western Illinois that's Lorenzo Taylor the strong safety sophomore from East St. Louis but that time once again the pass by Reggie Lewis underthrown to the tight end Ricky Eggleston now Lopez goes wide to the left side with Keith Willis wide to the right eye formation now behind the quarterback Reggie Lewis Second and 10, now he drops back in his own end zone, looking to air it out, has a man, that's Willis, complete. He will have first down yardage over the 20 yard line, out to the, 20, out to the 23, and that time, Reggie Lewis threads the needle and gets it to his old high school teammate, Keith Willis. Big completion right there for Reggie Lewis to Keith Willis. That'll be a first down now for Sam Houston. They had to get out of that hole there at the five yard line. Dangerous, very dangerous down there when you're by your own end zone, so. A little bit of breathing room now for the Bearcat offense. First and 10, ball at the 23 yard line. Yeah. 
Hand the ball straight up the middle to Luther Turner, who hasn't had too much going his way here this afternoon. Rushing wise, Turner with only 28 yards in the first half, hasn't netted too many more yards to that total here in the second half. But a good gain that time is he got about six, maybe seven yards. Give him a gain of six and bring up a second down and four. Lopez goes wide to the right side. Victor Henry is wide to the near side. Eye formation. Reggie Lewis will pitch it in the backfield now. Turner looking to turn it up field. Runs over a couple of defenders and gets the first down. Number 15, the, strong, the free safety Maurice Smith up to make the tackle along with number four, Bill Hunter, the right side cornerback, but it'll be good enough for a Sam Houston first down. Three, 350 remaining here in the third period. Keith Willis wide to the left side, Victor Henry wide to the right. Ricky Eggleston is the tight end of the right side eye formation. Now Lewis roll it out, now looking to run with the football, avoids a couple of tacklers, dives, he will have about nine yards. He will be about a yard short of the first down and the Bearcat offense starting to show some signs of life here late in the third quarter. He put a good move right there on Marlon Williams, the defensive end number 99 for Western Illinois. Williams right there, Lewis cut back in, gained about an extra five yards on that one. Good, good run by Reggie Lewis. First, second down and nine. Sam Houston now. Lopez is wide to the left side. Keith Willis wide to the right. Now under three minutes to go. Third quarter of play. Bearcats leading it over Western Illinois, 21-18. Pitch it deep in the backfield. Luther Turner looking for a block. Will not find easy going that time. Tackle on the play. Number 79, Pat Sullivan, the junior from Polo, Missouri, up from his right tackle spot to make the tackle for Western Illinois. Forty-six. Thad Trumps checks into the ball game at a linebacker for Western Illinois. Now Reggie Lewis, not liking what he sees, will have to call a timeout. First one taken by Sam Houston here in the second half. So with two minutes, 25 seconds to go, third quarter of play from Bearcat Stadium in Huntsville. It's the Bearcats 21, Western Illinois 18. Find out why over 5,000 young men and women have pledged fraternities and sororities at Sam Houston State University. Join host Chris Bianco for a look at fraternities on cable channel seven, Monday nights at 9.30. And the madcap adventures of Alan Roach and Nigel down in their little corner of the world known as Wits Inn. That's on this fall, that's on this fall, yes, cable channel seven, Monday nights at 8 p.m. Join it, it's not a bad show. I've caught it one time, uh, Rod, it's not too bad. It's a real good dramatic action in that show. As the Bearcats now looking to mount some offense here in the second half. As they find themselves faced with a first and 10 with the ball spotted at the 46 yard line. 